Hey guys, what is going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. And today we are going to do a little unboxing of the Mossberg Maverick 88 shotgun. I actually had one of these shotguns a couple years ago. Uh, I sold it, I kind of regretted it. And then Mossberg just happened to release these in a few new colors. And I thought I had to pick another one back up. So we're going to go and check it out. We'll talk about what we have in the box here, why it shows this model, and uh, what you should know about the Maverick 88 before you decide to get one. It is made in the USA. I believe it's made in Eagle, Eagle Pass, Texas. Uh, Mossberg does own Maverick 88. They do own that particular line. So we'll go ahead and check it out. It does share some traits with the Mossberg 500. Now, I don't have a 500. I do have an 835. But there's a couple of unique features that the 835 has that the Maverick 88 does not have, but also the 500 has. So we're going to kind of take you through that real quick. So what's in the box? What do you get as soon as you open it up? Uh, there's a couple little things that kind of disappointed me about it out of the box. But first of all, let's talk about price. What did I pay for it? And uh, where did I get it from? So, you know, YouTube doesn't like me talking about where I, uh, you know, get firearms at because we don't want to, you know, don't want to support the, uh, the firearms manufacturer, uh, nor do they want me to mention uh, how much I paid for it with tax. And you might be able to see that number down there. So with tax, it was actually less than MSRP, which we can mention uh, as we give you some of the facts from the uh, Mossberg website. Simple cardboard box is how it's going to show up. Nothing too crazy here. Um, it does have, I believe, just the regular cylinder bore on it. There are no removable choke tubes for this particular model that you're going to get. In the box, you do get uh, instruction manual and your gun lock. This is for the 8891 pump action shotguns. There's about a dozen different Maverick variations out there you can get. Even more if you take some of the different uh, furniture colors out there, you do get the sticker. I'm glad I got this in the box and not on the stock. It's so annoying because we try to peel them off, it leaves residue on the sock, and that's just another thing you gotta worry about when it comes time to taking the sticker off. So, in the box, it's pretty straightforward, it's very simple. We'll take a look at it. I did get the security model with a 20 inch barrel. Let's go ahead and verify that it is in fact an unloaded. Okay, we're good to go. Uh, so again, flat dark earth, you can also get this one in all black. They make a camo model, uh, but it's not this security model you can get it in. This is just a little cover that comes with the barrel. The uh, camo model is more of the hunter style ones or the all purpose guns that you can get. You can get these in a 12 gauge and a 20 gauge. Uh, again, they are relatively inexpensive. MSRP on these I think is $262. But again, if you just want a nice, you know, just, just standard grade shotgun, just something basic to get by, this is a seven plus one capacity. And the uh, other Maverick 88s that you can get with uh, longer barrels, uh, more of a, a field type, more of a hunting style, uh, those have a five plus one capacity. So you can get this with a seven plus one, five plus one, black, flat, dark earth. Um, they also have a, an over the receiver stock that you can get for it also that comes with that particular model. If you wanna go that route too, you can do so. Just a little front bead sight right there. It's not hard to add accessories to this as it does share compatibility. Uh, on some of the parts with the Mossberg 500, uh, differences, and I'll show you my 835 in a little bit. You do have a cross bolt safety here on the Maverick 88. Uh, the 500 and the 835 does have a tang safety on it. So I think that means the trigger groups are not gonna be compatible. I don't think you can throw this in a 500 and vice versa, or maybe you can go one way or the other, but I know that that, that is one part that's not compatible. Uh, rear stock is gonna be the same. And then on the front, this does have the pinned um, uh, forend on it. And when I was looking up replacement furniture for the shotgun online, I was just searching specifically for Maverick 88 uh, listed furniture. And because I think there may be some differences in the forend between this and the 500, you may not have the compatibility where you can just take a 500 forend and slap it on here. You guys let me know down below if you've ever done that before. We do have two bars on it, which is great. It's gonna be a nice, sturdy, reliable mechanism. It does have a nice blued finish to it. Uh, it does need to be cleaned up a little bit. It is a little bit gritty and grimy out of the box. Um, only real disappointments on it. I noticed down here, not this is a big deal because this is basically a beater, but I do have a chip right here, just a little spot where the finish is not there, but I might just hit that with a blue pen and touch it up a little bit. Um, but overall, I'm gonna do a cleaning video on this, so we will take it apart and we will show you uh, what it looks like once you get it apart and get it all cleaned up and stuff. Again, it's just not a, it's got a really nice balance to it. It is relatively lightweight. Oh, the other thing too, it looks like maybe somebody missed when they were uh, hammering in this particular pin in the bolt and I do have some some marring right here But you know what? I, I really don't care uh, Overall the gun is it's got decent fit and finish and it's gonna work well for what we're gonna do with it So real quick. Oh, yeah, you do have a nice little rubber butt pad cushion on the end um, Out of the box a couple things about it too. It did have a lot of marks and stuff on the furniture that I kind of cleaned up a little bit I don't know if they just kind of stack them or if it's rubber marks or whatever some handling marks So it was a little a little bit beat up out of the box, but it was brand new never been fired um, you do not get uh, swivel mount points on here, so you do have to get those. I did get an Uncle Mike said made for the Mossberg 500, and it will uh, screw it on the end here. 
And then on the buttstock, this is just a, a blank basically. There's nothing here, nothing drilled or tapped. So I'm gonna have to drill a small hole, like a pilot hole, and then screw in the screw in the stock. I've never done that before in a firearm. It's not a big deal, but I can show you guys some of the, uh, the basic accessories that we're gonna be using to kind of dress this up a little bit. No modifications, just stuff we're gonna slap on it to kind of make it a much more viable home defense tool. I don't have any plans right now to put a light on it. I do want to, I gotta get some sort of a bracket for it and uh, we'll make that work. But the action overall, it's not bad. It does need to be broken in a little bit. Um, the action does need to be cleaned. It's not buttery smooth like my 835, but I've also had my 835 for 20 plus years and put a lot of rounds through it. So it will break in as time goes on, as uh, shotguns usually do. So like I said, uh, you do have that cross bolt safety. You do have a polymer a trigger group down here, just like what you have on the uh, Mossberg uh, 500. So let me just show you the 835 real quick, just as a comparison, uh, some of the core differences between the two of them. Okay, so the A35 is a formidable beast. I believe this is made on a 10 gauge receiver. Uh, a couple slight differences here is you don't have the ribbing on the top of the barrel like you do on the A35 and the 500s. I think this might have maybe a 30 plus inch barrel on it, and I've had it for so long. And in case you're curious, this is a factory camouflage finish. They did come like this in the late 90s. I think this is kind of a pre-mossy oak. It's kind of a cool, just kind of jungle camo that came from the, Mount, the Mossberg factory. Um, it's not rattle can. I mean, it is part of the finish. I don't know if it was like an early Cerakote or what exactly it was. Um, also, uh, choke tubes um, on the 835, they are removable. I believe they're also removable on the 500. You can get the, the Maverick field model, and that, I believe that does have removable choke tubes if you want to go that route. It does cost about 30 bucks more, though. And then on the top, you've got this tang safety right here, and this is drilled and, trap, drilled and tapped for an optic. Uh, because I do have a slug barrel that goes with it that is rifled. So you can run your uh, rifled slugs through the barrel or the Sabo slugs through the barrel and you can put an optic on the top if you want to, which I actually used for my first deer hunt. But tank safety on the top, you know, this is fine. I have actually had this freeze up on me before while hunting pheasants. And so that is something that can happen. You can get ice water down there. If that happens to freeze, it will jam up your safety, but that's just kind of a winter weather anomaly that you might run into. And then again, on your Maverick 88, you do have that cross bolt safety, but very similar design. I mean, very much similar across the board. But again, the fore end is something I'm kind of curious about um, if there's any kind of changes that I can make. All right, so real quick, just from the Mossberg website, uh, what are the basic specifications on the shotgun? And then we're going to go and show you some of the accessories we're going to put on it. And we will go from there. All right, so taken from the Mossberg website, just off my tablet here, um, $262 is the MSRP. And you can compare the models and choose what barrel length you want. I think it's 18 and a half or 20 inch or 28 inch, five plus one, seven plus one, pretty much whatever you want, whatever fits your budget. Uh, 12 gauge pump action, three inch chamber, security models, what we have here, 20 inch barrel, uh, blued finish, cylinder bore is all you're gonna get with it. Uh, capacity seven plus one, 41 inches overall, length of pull 14.5. Uh, fixed length of pull, um, bead side on the front, synthetic stocks, uh, 6.5 pounds, and then they got the UPC number, and then just a few options that people buy with it. But again, there's like two dozen different models and, and different, uh, you know, calibers you can go with, gauges you can go with uh, when it comes to the Maverick 88 series, which makes it, I think, you know, a, a good option for somebody who wants to get into it. Now, I mean, I just bought a Beretta, you know, A300 Patrol not too long ago, and but I just missed having a Maverick 88, just something I can just grab and go if I want to throw in the truck, take it wherever I want to. And uh, I will be keeping federal fly control um, on this model uh, as I keep it around the house for home defense. So real quick, let's show you some of those accessories and then we will get it dressed up a little bit and we will be right back. All right, so we are not making any modifications to the gun, just for the record, but uh, we do have some Uncle Mike's QD uh, quick detachable super swivels. They do come with the screws that you need to mount it in the stock and also on the front, and it says it is made for the Mossberg 500 shotgun. So I'm hoping that little front screw is compatible on the, the cap there on the, uh, the, the magazine tube. We should be good to go. It's around 10 or $11, not a big deal. Uh, this is just one of the least expensive sleeves you can get uh, to put on. I know it's kind of pointless to get a black sleeve when I bought FTE furniture because I like to look at the FTE just where it's going to go and cover it up. Anyway, these are about six bucks on Amazon and it's just going to hold a couple extra shelves. It's shells. It's just good for five shells. I just filtered by the cheapest one I could find. No brand whatsoever. And then this is my favorite. This, you guys ever watch TFV TV with James Reeves? You know, he did a Mossberg 88 test and this is kind of a, one of his favorite brands, I think. So this is a little side saddle shell holder that you can slap on the side of the receiver. And this is the, um, I love the brand here. Excellent Elite Spanker Tactical is what this is. Excellent Elite Spanker, which sounds like a uh, reject name from Gundam Wing for one of the characters. But anyway, we're gonna put a little rubbing alcohol on the side there and get that oil off of it. We're gonna go and put this on and get it all dressed up for 
home defense uh, minus light. So let's go ahead and do that and we will be right back. Hang tight guys. All right guys, so please excuse the uh, mess here in the kitchen, but this is what we got. We went ahead and put that Uncle Mike's uh, Mossberg 500 uh, sling mount on the front there, no problems whatsoever. Nice and clean now, got her all wiped off with some cleanse oil. As you can see, she is clear. Uh, the sling is just an inexpensive Butler Creek sling. I have these on most of my firearms. I know it's not exactly a shotgun sling, but I don't really care. They're about 12 or 13 bucks. They're very comfortable. The neoprene on here, it's cushy, but it doesn't stretch. So it does give you a nice cushion for extended carries if you have to carry that thing with you for any length of time. Uh, and again, it's just, just the perfect size for me. And then down here, this is just that little five, you know, $6 shotgun sleeve that I was telling you about that I bought from Amazon. I'm probably going to cut just a little hole in it so I can pull it back and then I'll have the sling mount go through there. And then the sling mount itself is super easy to install. You just have to drill a small pilot hole and then you use a little bit smaller bit and then you drill in about, oh, about, I think about a half an inch or so. Um, and then after that, you just screw in the wood screw and you are all set to go. And you also have the little sling mounts that come with it. So the cool thing is with this um, Uncle Mike setup here the QD uh, detachable super swivels that come with the screws and everything. It was 11 bucks on Amazon. And the instructions are very, very clear. You do have to have a drill. You do have to have some drill bits. They don't want you to hand crank the screw in there. That would really be a pain in the butt considering it's just like solid plastic down there. So you might be able to do that, but I'd recommend just drilling the pilot hole like they tell you to do first. All right, let's go ahead and bring it around and we will check out the other side and show you what it looks like with that Elite Super Tactical Spanker uh, Mamacita shot shell carrier. All right, hang tight. It does come with the it does come with the Velcro that you need for both sides of it. Obviously, I did hit this with some rubbing alcohol before to degrease it, and then I put the uh, sticky uh, loop side on there, and then the hook side is obviously the card that the shot shells are going to go on. And ammo for this, we got ten rounds on the outside of some Federal Law Enforcement Premium Flight Control Tactical, and I've shown this off on my channel before with the uh, the Beretta A300. I bought this stuff off of. Uh, ammo seek or no actually over on gun broker I believe and you can legally own it It's just that it's you just can't really find it in the stores You just have to buy it online and I think it costs about a buck a round or so about five bucks a box four bucks a box So it's not too bad, but it is a decent little setup, and I think she's about good to go So uh, we will do a cleaning video on this soon So you guys can can check out what it's like to take it apart and clean it and if you've ever done a Mossberg 500 It's really not much different, but again just a really good value uh, total amount of parts added, you know, 13, 14 bucks for the sling, $11 for the screws and the sling mounts, and then uh, what about seven bucks for the shot shell carrier, and then six dollars for the sleeve. So you can just get this stuff right over there on Amazon. It's pretty inexpensive and it looks decent. All right, so let's bring it back for a few final words. All right, so we'll see how well the shotgun performs at Thunder on the Prairie 2023. That is coming up, and the shotgun's going to be used on one of the stages. I'm also going to take it to the range and do a little range test with it. We'll run a bunch of different ammunition through it and see how well it runs. Uh, maybe run some three-inch shells through it also and just see how well it cycles. I've also got some Aguila mini shells. We can try those out and see if those will go too. So this is Travis P11. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. And do make sure you check out uh, Caliber Corner, which is a little podcast that I do Saturday mornings at 8 a.m. over on YouTube Central Time. We've got over 270 episodes. Check it out. We just hit season six. We're super excited. But in the meantime, guys, I want you to have fun. I want you to be safe. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.